Hello. Uh, first off, I adore this film so much. I had the pleasure of chatting with Karen um, back when it debuted at the in the festival circuit, and oh, um, good. This this film like kind of like it hit me in my core. I remember what after I watched it. I kind of couldn't move. And my husband came out to the living room and he's like, honey, are you okay? I'm like, I just saw, I just had a very visceral <laughs> out of body experience. You're like, I don't know what I just saw, but it was, it was something. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Totally. It is, it does. It, I, I felt a similar thing after I watched it for the first time and you know, it, it's very close to me and I, I felt like I knew it, but that's the, it's kind of the beauty of it. It's different every time. It was different every time I read it. I kept, every time I read it, I would find new meanings and new little gems. And after watching it for the first time, it really, it really transports you to this yes. weird, eerie world that, that I've definitely never seen before. So it's, yeah. it's really, yeah, it's special. It really is. It's truly such a special film. Um, and to be, you know, led by all these incredible and complex, interesting female characters, it's mm-hmm. just, oh, it's the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> I could like literally talk about it all day. I know it's like, it's hard to cut off interviews for this because it's like, it is, a, it is a bottomless pit. I mean, it goes on and on. We could talk about so much. So it's so hard to like. I know. It's it all like, okay. uh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's, I'm going to try to rein it in and let's just start yes. with a really simple question. So people know what the hell we're talking about. Can you please describe your character, Anna, for us? I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anna is, you meet her and she is very broken and is hanging by a thread in her life and um, is in desperate need to connect with herself and the world around her. And she finds herself in a fantasy land and she's encountered by these women um, who are powerful and warrior-like and free and um she is in awe of them and throughout her journey she she gains her inner strength and and within all the fantasy and craziness that that you'll see when you see the movie it's it's just um it really is ultimately a story about a young woman finding her inner strength and power and 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 getting it from connecting with these women and the power of sisterhood and um, friendship. And I mean, there's so many meanings. That's why it's so hard to explain this movie. Oh, because there's so it's whatever many- you want it to be, kind of. Yeah, that's yeah. what Karen has created this, like you said, kind of, I, I remember talking to her about it as this sort of Peter Pan-like world, except instead of the lost boys, you had these incredibly strong women kind of at war with their own traumas caused by, you know, the patriarchal society that we unfortunately live in. Um, Right. And um, I can't help but think about too, how it's also a metaphor for as cheesy as it sounds, we're stronger together, but it's so true. Like what we can combat and get through when we work together as women and celebrate each other and have each other's backs instead of being pitted against each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, I think that's such an important message in in this film and just in life. I think it's, it's sometimes hard to see past that because, you know, society has pit us against each other and, and wants us to do that. So, so sticking together is, it's vital. So vital. Um, yeah. Um, also, I think that stories like this, they just need to be told through a female perspective and a female lens. Can you just yeah. talk about the process working with Karen and your female co-stars and how this was sort of a different experience than no shame if, you know, a man made this movie, that would be great too. But, yeah. you know, the unique experience really working through this very yeah. personal process with Karen. Yeah. And it was such, I can't even begin to tell you how amazing and um, empowering it was to be around these women, let alone amazing, talented, badass, beautiful women. Like 
they were all so amazing and equally as committed and passionate. And um, I mean, I wanted to do the movie purely. I mean, there were so many reasons, but when I saw that Karen wrote it, directed it, and all the other leads were women, I'm like, I, duh, like we need to, <laughs> we need to encourage this. And, and Karen, people like Karen are just, she's, she's carving the way for younger females to, to follow in her path. And, and she's creating opportunity. Each, each woman that does this creates more opportunity. So already I was like, Karen, you're amazing. And she is just such a visionary and had such a specific, um, vision for this whole movie and it was her own and it was so unique to her and so personal and i think we all put our hearts and souls into it um, from our own personal experiences and i remember our first table read which was the second time we maybe met each other i had known mia before we were friends for before and we were so excited to work together but the table read, which is usually a drag. I mean, it's usually scary. You think you're going to be like fired right after or you're like terrified. And it was such a beautiful moment. And before reading the script, we all went around and kind of just told our life stories yeah. oh. and it felt so safe and so comfortable. And we were all encouraging each other to be vulnerable and and we didn't even need to, it just happened. And I think because it was, it felt like such a safe place with all these young women, um, so passionate about this common thing. And it just set the tone for the rest of the shoot. And I, I did really learn that, you know, it, it, vulnerability is so powerful in, in any, in any sense, you know, Oh, that's beautiful. And it's, it shows, I think that the level of commitment that y'all had, it, it, it makes sense that it was created in a safe space. I feel like this movie could not have been made without being in a safe space. It's just, totally, totally. Um, and you feel that watching it. I think that's why, uh -huh. you, you know, especially as a woman, you have such a, like a physical and emotional reaction to this film because you can sense yeah. that. Um, well, what did, you know, playing Anna teach you most about yourself? I, I think, Building off of vulnerability, I think that was a huge part of it. Um, I think for a lot of my life, I I would see it as a weakness. And it took me a long time to understand that vulnerability is beautiful and powerful and, and necessary to, to be in touch with yourself. Um, and this only kind of solidified that, especially being vulnerable around strangers. You know, they were in the beginning and that can be really scary but it, it was so beautiful in the long run and there they've become lifelong friends. And I wouldn't have known that if I didn't allow myself to go there. And especially when you're making art, vulnerability is, I mean, I think that's the only way to make honest, yeah. honest, pure art. Yeah, vulnerability leads to truth. I think that as women, to kind of go back to one of the metaphors, another beautiful metaphor. In <laughs> one this, of the many, yeah. One of many, many peeling back the onions um, <laughs> is that you know, in a patriarchal society, it's like we are forced to, women are forced to feel like we can't be vulnerable because if we're vulnerable, that's when, that's when, you know, the bad stuff happens. That's when we get hurt. That's when we can't look out for ourselves. And I think that and again, we put up these shields and these armors and we become very militarized in a way like these women. But then we find out that in order to sort of break free and truly get to the core of how we're feeling and to move past the trauma, we have to be vulnerable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and then we see at the end, you know, Anna approaching the mic on the stage. And I feel like it's, she's finally found her voice or she's ready to kind of Right. You know, use her voice. Thanks yeah. to the experience she had. Exactly. Ugh. Exactly. Exactly. It's so, it's such a beautiful journey she has. Yeah. And, and I think just hopefully it just gives a lot of hope to, I to people, so. especially young women. I hope, I hope they see, or I hope everyone sees that there is, 
there's always another side. There's always, there's always a way out. And it's so hard to see that when you're, when you're in the middle of it, but Mm -hmm. that there is, there is a life beyond loss and beyond trauma and, um, and sisterhood and friendships and connections and um, love and support. Those are the things that really get you through it. Yeah. It can get you out of that tunnel. And yeah. Oh, it's so good. Well, in the spirit of sisterhood and celebrating each other and uplifting each other as women, um, is there a woman or women that are currently inspiring you right now that you just want to give a shout out to? Oh, so many. Um, first, my mom. Um, just, <laughs> my mom and my sisters. Yes. I'm one of three girls, so I'm. Oh my goodness. The lack of testosterone in this house for sure. <laughs> Um, and my dad's out of town right now. So it's really, we're we're all in sync, if you know what I mean. Um, (laughs) but, but no, there's so many women in the business. I mean, Nicole Kidman, who I just had the honor of working with, I, she is really like, I, she's inspired me since I, as long as I can remember, I mean, not only in her acting, but her producing and her just like, like Karen carving the way for younger women to, to follow in her footsteps and creating opportunity for that. And Elizabeth Moss is doing that right now. She has her own production company. She's directing, she's an incredible actor. So women like that, Charlize Theron, who I think is unreal um, and also does that. So they're, they're just, they're really creating opportunity for, for women out there. And that is so inspiring to me. And I hope, I hope I can follow in their footsteps. I was going to say, do you want to produce direct? Like you want to get all, your hands dirty and all yeah, that? I'd love yeah. to attempt. I mean, it's so, I can't imagine. It seems like the hardest thing ever, but I would love, I would love to try. Yeah. Well, well, I look forward to seeing that. That's really exciting. Well, I'm going to let you go, but Grace, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, and just congratulations on everything. May Day, Nine Perfect Strangers. I can't wait to see what you do next and next. So thank you so much. It was so nice talking to you. I'm oh, so happy you, you enjoyed it. Oh.